Hello students. In this video class, we are going to discuss a disproportion reaction. The oxidation number of the oxygen with the charge minus one is minus one by two. The other two are minus one and zero. So minus one lies between these two. So this is said to be a disproportion reaction. We can solve based on atoms and oxidation number and charge in three level we can discuss so let us start to discuss based on atoms and a is arbitrary constant given to the number of oxygen atom having oxidation number minus 1 by 2 this is B, this is C. Okay. Now, comparing atoms of oxygen, 2A atoms and 2B, the other side 2C, the simplified equation A equal to B plus C. Let the equation be 1. And based on oxidation number, of the same atom oxygen the oxidation number minus 1 by 2 2 atoms multiply a 2 and minus of multiplying all the 3 negative a so multiplying b suffix 2 and oxidation number minus minus 2 b this is going to be 0 so this implies A equal to 2B. This is second result. We use the second result in the first result A equal to 2B. 2B equal to B plus C implies B equal to C. Then if we take B equal to 1, C equal to 1, then A equal to 2. So the balance reaction the balanced reaction A is 2 2 O2 minus plus H plus and this implies H2O2 B is 1 H2O2 plus O2 so all the three are already balanced so we have to balance uh, this term alone with respect to hydrogen atom on the right hand side there are two hydrogen atom here two this is balanced one then we will discuss another example under the same, uh, same title disproportion reaction so dear students we will discuss another example on disproportion reaction. This is a reaction and oxidation state of sulfur as a reactant plus 3. The other side plus 4 and minus 2. This is obtained by means of oxidation. The other one is obtained by means of reduction. So the same compound undergoes simultaneously oxidation as well as reduction. That's why this is known as disproportion reaction. Once again, we are following atoms balance, oxidation number balance, and charge balance. Let us introduce the arbitrary constant A for first sulfur and B for the second kind of sulfur, C for third kind of sulfur. Solving atomicity atoms of sulfur, there are two A atoms here b number of atoms here c number of atoms so let the equation be one for the same sulfur we can compare based on oxidation number of s oxidation number of s we have to multiply a the suffix 2 and oxidation number so plus 6 a and B plus 4 
and C minus 2. This is 2. Okay. So in order here uh, sulfur 2A here 1B 1C. Okay. So in order to solve this here 6A if we multiply first equation by 3 6A 3B 3C mean from 1 comma 2 from these two we can have and 3 times B 3B plus 3C equal to 6A equal to 4B minus here oxidation number of S minus 2C minus 2C and this symbolize and 5C equal to 1B and this symbolizes B is to C equal to the coefficient of B should be 1 so 5 by 1 so this implies B equal to 5 and C equal to 1 and so that B plus C equal to 6 2A equal to 6 mean A equal to 3 and this two values give A equal to 3 yes 5 plus 1 equal to 2 into A 3 we have got all the values. So let us write balanced reaction. It's a disproportionate reaction. So A equal to 3. 3 Na2 S2O4 plus NaOH. And B equal to 5. 5 Na2 SO3 and C equal to 1 Na2 S plus H2O. So this balance the three term balance. On the right hand side 5 times 2 so it is 10 plus 2 12 sodium atoms. So here 3 times 2 6 sodium atoms. So 6 more required. 6 sodium atoms. We have 6 hydrogen, so it should be 3. Now we can check whether the oxygen atoms are balanced or not. 3 times 4, 12. 12 plus 6, 18. And 5 times 3, 15. 15 plus 3, 18. And the, no compound has no charge. So we need not test charge. Testing part of atoms as well as oxygen number enough so this is the balanced redox so that is disproportion reaction we will discuss one more example so dear students the third reaction also under disproportion reaction and this oxygen number plus six this is plus 7 permanganate, this manganate and plus 4. Okay. Now we will start an A atoms that is arbitrary constant for first Mn, the second Mn B, the third Mn C. Atoms and oxidation number and charge. Okay. Listen. So based on atoms of Mn and A, A, B and C equation 1. Oxidation number of Mn multiply A and Mn 1 and 6, 6A. 6A and 7B and 4C. This is 2. Solving 1 and 2 to get 6A, let us multiply equation 1 by 6. From 1 comma 2 implies 6B plus 6C equal to 6A equal to 7B plus 4C. This implies 6C minus 4C, 2C is equal to 7B minus 6B 
one b this same lies b by c equal to and two by one this same lies b equal to two and c equal to one b equal to two c equal to one means sum of these two a equal to three the two values gives a equal to three okay now balance the reaction or equation a equal to three three m n o four two minus plus h plus this implies b equal to two two m n o four minus plus c equal to one m n o two plus h two o so these three are already balanced now this side uh, 12 oxygen 3 times 4 12 oxygen and 2 times 4 8 8 plus 2 10 oxygen 2 more oxygen requires so the coefficient should be 2 so oxygen balance now on the right hand side there are 4 hydrogen here yeah, there should be 4 so this is balanced I think we can check charge also the left sides are 3 times minus 2 minus 6 plus 4 minus 2 the net charge of left side minus 2 right side also minus 2 this is balance so my dear students I recommend your friends uh, to benefit more and in learning this to saw how to solve the disproportionate reaction and redox reaction and any kind of reaction using the simple method I am going to upload many and videos based on this in all the three subjects, maths, physics, chemistry. And if you are really interested, please subscribe.